Hi, welcome to Graphics Card Repairs. My name is Fraser, and today we have an XFX RX 6800, which is reported as not detected. I'll take you through the entire process from diagnosis to successful repair, so let's get started. First step in diagnosing any GPU issue is to check the main voltage rails. I started with the 12 volt PCIe, 3.3 volt, and 12 volt 8 pin connector. There were no shorts found on these rails. Next, I dismantled the GPU to check the resistances inside. Let me show you how to dismantle this GPU. I then measured the resistance on all the main rails, like 12 volts 8 pin, 12 volts PCIe, VDD memory, 5 volts, and 1.8 volts, but did not find any shorts, and all the measurements were normal. It was now time to connect my Tiffinbox power supply to test the voltages. Someday, this thing will get a new outfit. For now, let's call it the Tiffinbox power supply. With the power supply connected, I measured to check what we were missing. I started with 12 volts 8 pin, 12 volts PCIe, 5 volts VDD memory, 1.8 volts and core, and we had all voltages. I was surprised and wondered why this GPU was not being detected. I decided to take a closer look at the back of the PCIe connector. There I found two capacitors still attached but barely hanging. So this was the cause of this GPU not being detected. On AMD GPUs, if any capacitor is knocked off or not making contact, the GPU won't get detected. This is unlike NVIDIA GPUs, which can still operate at reduced performance depending on the missing capacitor's location. If you want to know how to identify and fix NVIDIA GPUs running in less than X16 mode, I have the link in the top right corner. Watch out for the pop-up. The next step was to repair the knocked off capacitors and solder them back on the pads. This required precise soldering to ensure proper contact. Since one end of the pad was lifted, I used a solder mask to lock them in place. I also moved my finger over it to test and check if the mask had secured the capacitors and that there is no movement. I also measured to check continuity to ensure that it was making contact. With our main part of the repair completed, it was time to test the GPU. I installed it on the test bench to see if it would be detected and display an image. There you go. The GPU was detected and we had a display. It's now time to put this GPU back together.
I reassembled the GPU, put it on my test bench, and booted it to Windows to run some final tests to ensure everything was functioning correctly. The drivers were installed, I ran a few tests, and it passed. This repair was a success. We have fixed the no detect issue on this GPU. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more graphics card repair videos. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Your support helps me continue to provide these detailed repair videos. Whether through joining the channel or using the thanks button, every bit of support is greatly appreciated and goes a long way in helping the channel grow. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye for now. Cheers.